Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. All right, Zwift workouts. I'm going to get straight in there and talk about this. Well, actually, I'm going to go off on a tangent just quickly. Do you ever spend ages sitting at home trying to think of something to watch, searching through like Netflix, Amazon Prime, all the things, and you spend like three hours searching for something to watch, and then by the time you find something to watch, you've run out of time. Or maybe that's just me. But if that is you, and you do this in other areas of your life, for me, for example, I do this on Zwift a lot, I'll be going through their list of awesome workouts. They've got a lot of really good workouts and I can just never pick what I want to do. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to chat about my favourite Zwift workouts. And this will be like long ones, short ones, high intensity ones, chilled ones, ones that build your FTP, ones that are just brutal and I'll never do again. And then hopefully that'll give you guys a bit of an insight, a bit of extra knowledge into like Zwift and which workouts would suit you and what you want to get out of them. So I'd say one of the main issues as a cyclist is finding the time to train. You have to fit it around family, around work. So sometimes you don't have like three hours, four hours to just go for a ride. You don't even have an hour. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking on one of the shorter Zwift workouts. So this workout, I'm going to put it up here actually. Let me move over. Zwift has a bunch of workouts. So simply just go into Zwift, go on the main page, click on the workout tab. I'm going to put it all up there so you can see. And then you're given a very, very long list of like various workouts that would suit pretty much anything you want to do. In today's video, I'm going to look at a shorter workout. I'm gonna be testing out the miracle. So here's what it says. 20 minutes available and you want a solid workout. It's going to take a miracle. Good thing we can put the beat down on with some fatigued one minute all out efforts and save your session. My FTP by the way is probably vastly wrong. You see last time I did this, I did 18 out of 19, but I did put my FTP down slightly and I found it a little bit easier. And yes, I could do an FTP test, but honestly, that whole 20 minute of pain thing, I would rather set my FTP at roughly what I know it is and then see if I can complete the workout. And if I can complete the workout a little bit easier, I just touch it up a little bit. So today I have actually put my FTP a little bit higher than it might be. So this is actually gonna be a little bit harder than the last time I tried it. For anyone that wants to get into training, I would definitely, definitely recommend doing an FTP test first because that's what you tailor all of these workouts to. All of like the efforts you can see on the screen, they're all tailored to your FTP. So if you have the wrong number in, you'll find that either the workout will be far too easy or basically not completable and then you're not getting the most out of it. So I would definitely, definitely recommend doing an FTP. I personally haven't done one because I've done about 1500 FTPs and I kind of roughly know where I'm at with my power at the moment. Rather than do an FTP, I'm gonna do a bunch of workouts to see if I'm correct, um, just for a bit of fun. There's a slow, steady warm up. And then a bit of an all out effort. I have 30 seconds at 400 watts. Then I get to chill out for a minute. And then it is actually one minute at 305 watts, one minute at 335, and then one minute at 370. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. I might have set my FTP a bit high, but you guys get to see me suffer. And if I don't complete the workout, at least I'm trying. And if I'm trying my hardest, I feel like that's gonna be, that's gonna be good, right? So it's like one little sprint at the start, and then you have these gradually building efforts, two of those. And like, so it's only actually in total about like one, two, three, six minutes at that like high threshold, like near or over my FTP. So if you're short on time, it might be worth checking out The Miracle on Zwift or some of the other workouts. Right, so I suppose it's time for some pain. Yay! And like always, something happens that doesn't oh, just go to plan. I wanted to screen record the whole workout on my laptop, but for some reason my laptop refuses to connect. Wow, has Swift updated? It will not connect to my turbo, so I have no idea why. Like Apple TV connects no problem, but it just means that recording, yeah, I can't screen record. So apologies, you're just gonna have to watch watch me sweat from, from there. And then um, and then I'll show, you, I'll show you at the end, you know? But yeah, sorry. Right, let's crack on then. One minute of the warm-up left, and then we're going to get into the first effort, which is 30 seconds of 400 watts. So I'm going to see if I can get a gold star for that one. Fingers crossed. Three, two, one, right, 400 watts. All right, number one done. Now it's one minute and 305 watts. 
This is where I'm going to struggle. This is like increase. Whoa, here we go. This for me is really about pacing. Like I can't go too hard. Oh. And if I talk to you, I drop off on the watch. So there's one minute of this, and then you only get 15 seconds to relax. So it's quite an intense workout. Oh my god, I'm already struggling. It's the first effort. And like five more. Seems like a really short effort. Honestly, 15 seconds in between. That's like the zero recovery time. Three, three, five watts for one minute. And 90 RPM. Fifty-one seconds, and then we do it all again. Maybe my FTP isn't actually as bad as I thought it was. But then again, like this is a short workout. Doing like six minutes of efforts is very different to doing like a long sustained effort. We'll see. We'll see. Only one way to find out. Let's see if I can complete this workout. All right, ten seconds. Then it's one minute three oh five. Fifteen second recovery. One minute three three five. Fifteen second recovery. One minute three seventy. Right, let's go. 305 watts at 90 RPM. However, that is no recovery time. I think this is why it really works. What I would not recommend doing is having to stop your workout rush upstairs to find another battery. Right, I've got one second on this recovery, and then we're straight in with a one minute 300. Oh, no, we're straight in, Jesus! Right, 370, one minute, 90 RPM. Woo! I'm gonna try to stay slightly over on this one because I did run upstairs, so I had an extra break. So, let's see if we can, uh, Stay slightly over 370. Whew. That feels like a really efficient workout. I've been surprised how tired I am for 20 minutes. I'm happy with the fact that I completed like nearly all of those efforts with like stars. The only ones I messed up were the ones when I had to nip off and get a blooming battery or the last one where I wanted to do a higher effort than 370. So I went a bit harder to punish myself. Look at that, 20 minutes of pain. Wow. <sighs> 10 seconds left and we're all done. Yeah, it was a TSS of like 26, which isn't like crazy high, but for 20 minutes, not bad at all. 247 calories. Do you know what, I genuinely think you could get pretty fast and strong by simply doing these short workouts on Zwift. So if you are short on time, definitely, definitely check out those under 30 minute workouts. If you have a bit more time, look at the other workouts. And if you're not on Zwift, I mean, this is one of the reasons I pay for Zwift, you know. This isn't a sponsored post, Zwift don't sponsor me at all. I just love the platform and it works, you know? You can use it for training, you can use it for casual rides, you can do like social rides, it's really good. But genuinely, genuinely, cannot stress how good that workout was. The Miracle is on Zwift. Definitely check it out, check out all the other Zwift workouts and stay tuned for more videos. I've got to go gym now, I feel dead. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon, bye.